Kai, oh my god, chaos again. Uh, and uh, yes, I'm not Jubal Mastery this time. My name is Omega Chaos, and you might know me from Jubal Mastery's uh, daily tours, set as uh, where I tag to our Jubal Mastery uh, pretty much every Saturday. And of course, Jubal Mastery is playing Heretic Beast. Um, but my version is a lot different. So, yeah, I think it, this deck is pretty good. It can go up against the meta as well. So I guess let's go our stack. Also sorry about the shaky camera. I don't have a tripod currently. I'm planning on ordering one in July. And then hopefully it will get here soon. So I can start using it. So first the monsters of course. Uh, triple Heretic Beast Leo. The main searcher. Uh, two turn attack Peter, but serves the stocks when you normal summon this card in the end phase. And of course, uh, uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, you search for a Heretic Beast monster. So, really good. Then, a triple Heretic Beast up Conway. 18 turn attack Peter. And can recycle your Heretic Beast. So, pretty good. A uh, triple Heretic Beast uh, of Hispana. You discard a Heretic Beast to spell summon it from the hand. Its second effect is not really that relevant. It has wind attributes, so good for Lunged Shitori plays like Abel Conway. So, yeah. And the last Heretic Beast in the main deck. A triple Heretic Beast Unicorn. Of course, good to revive your number 18 and all that. Uh, you can also run two of this card, but I think three is just too necessary uh, to, of course, for your late game plays. And you can also re revive your uh, Chaos number 69 with this card. Of, of course, it can become dead at times in your in your hand, but it's still uh, yeah too good not to run at three. Then, of course, aside from Heretic Beast, you need your rank four uh, enablers. Because Amphispeon is the only one that can special summon itself. So, triple card Kage. Of course, I think you know what this card does. Uh, when you know someone a level 4 monster, you can spell summon it from the hand. Then the, I run the Heroic Engine, which helps you to make uh, a rank 4s as well. So, a triple a Heroic Chancellor Assault Halbert. It has cyber dragon ability, it can inflict piercing damage, and if you inflict battle damage with this card, you can search for uh, any heroic card from the deck. So it, either itself, or another card I run is uh, Heroic Challenge that doesn't play it, which can revive itself when you take uh, at any damage. So pretty good, and of course when the Entermage Trick Clown comes out, uh, this card becomes even better. If I decide to include Trick Claw in this deck. So that was the Masters. And now let's see the spell cards. Of course, it's a rank up based deck, so you have to run the a triple rank up magic limited party and source. Of course, a really good card in this deck. You rank up your number 18 to Chaos number 106. Mostly or Chaos from 69. So yeah, really good. And the one newer on Force, it's uh, pretty good. It's basically I replaced seventh one with this card as an as the fourth rank of magic. Uh, it can get of course all face face of cards on the on the field when you use this card and rank up your master. Uh, but it will aside from that it works the same as uh, uh, Barians Force, but you can only summon Chaos number, Numbers with this card. And then, a uh, Triple Advanced Heraldry Art, of course the best spell card in the deck. Just the one card, rank 4, revive two Heraldry Beast Monsters, and then you immediately access one with this card. I don't run Heraldry Reborn, it's pretty good, but it's not really that necessary, and it can become uh, a kind of cloggy as, as well. So advanced heraldry art is enough for revival, I think. Then one, a pot of Tychotomy. In this deck you have a problem that you can run out of monsters uh, very quickly. You need something to recycle your resources. 
and put of trigonomy and fits pretty well with this deck because you have a lot of different types of monsters in this deck and you can make this card live pretty quickly by resolving your number 18's effect. So I'm probably going to even run uh, two of this card once I get my second copy. And finally Dark Hole, uh, basically because I don't have Raigeki otherwise of course I would run Raigeki but Raigeki is too expensive for me currently. So that was the spell cards. So now let's see the trap cards. A 2 Mind Over Matter. It's really good in this deck. You tribute the Psyched Time Monster to negate Spell, Trap or a Monster Summon. So yeah, you pretty much tribute your number 18 for this card and then you can trigger your number 18's effect. Um, of course it can be a dead card if you cannot go into your number 18, but I think it's a way too powerful of a card not to run. Then one at seven tools of the bandit, just for trap negation. In Estonia, I most run a lot very back row heavy decks and all that. Of course, I should run wild tap instead of this, but I don't have that card, so seven tools works as a replacement. Then Solar Morning, of course, table pretty much. My Zeppelinus, of course, really good as well, and of course, almost a staple as well, now that it, it's at 1. Then Compulsive Evocation Device, not as good in this format, but in, in Estonia it's really good. Then Bottom Strap Hole, of course, uh, Transform Tribute for mass, mass Set Destruction, as well as Mirror Force, of course, pretty good this format. And for the last steps, a uh, two finish chain. So that was the main deck. Now let's see the extra deck. Uh, first, a Chaos 69 Hero the Crest of Horror. A uh, 4000 attack beater. And then, of course, you can easily rank up your number 18 into this card and all that. And when your opponent decides to attack it, um, all your opponent's cards are destroyed or decides to declare an attack when this card is on the field. And many have actually uh, tried to do it. There have been many funny funny moments with this card for sure. Then uh, Chaos No. 101, Sound on Dark, my favorite Exist Monster, of course, pretty powerful. But for some reason I don't summon this card very often just when my plant spams out a lot of monsters and all that. Then I think the best Chaos Exceed in this deck or Chaos number, uh, Chaos number 106, uh, Chant Red Hand. Of course you rank up your number 18 into this, it only requires a number for its effect to be active. Pretty much whenever anyone activates something, automatically all cards in the field are negated or face-up cards, I mean, so yeah, if your opponent activates something like uh, Raigeki or Dark Hole, uh, that Raigeki or Dark Hole is negated and all face-up cards as well. But it's monotory effect, so you have to be careful with this kind of, your opponent can easily put it out. But it's just as a yeah, way to gain advantage uh, and all that while you have your number 18 as the exchange material and then you're gonna to get off the number 18's effect. Then, uh, Chaos number 80. Uh, Rekam in Berserk, and of course you rank up your regular number 80 into this card. It can punish pretty much 3 cards in one, one turn, because it, it isn't a once per turn effect. So it's a bit buff, and it, of course you can equip it there, your uh, Exist Monster, it gains 2 turn attack, and you can also protect it from destruction. So definitely a very powerful card, but a little bit risky to use of course, because it, it only has 0 attack, so and no uh, it has no power by itself at all. Then, of course, the key card number 18, Heraldic Patriarch. Uh, of course, the, it's the main Exist monster you're going to summon uh, most of the time er early in the game. And uh, it, its second effect is what's uh, relevant. Uh, if it's sent to the graveyard, you can send two Heraldic Patriarch monsters from the deck to the graveyard. 
So you basically send your Leo and Unicorn to the graveyard, you get your Leo's effect, and then you can revive this card with a Unicorn. Then 2, number 1-1, one, one, Arc. Of course, really good rank 4. Uh, I run 2 of this card because, because I don't have Castle, but once I get that, and it gets, of course, it gets a reprint in the Mega Tins, I will replace uh, one of the one ones with that card. Then number 80, uh, Rapsling Berserk against Graveyard Base decks, and of course, rank up into the Calm in Berserk. Then number 103, Ragnar Zero, good against certain decks, but we'll probably replace this card with something like a Kaga Samurai or Extra Knight if I get that. Then Lunch is Jidori, of course, very powerful card, and you can summon this card pretty easily in the stack because you have, of course, your Abba Conway and Amphisprana as wind attribute monsters. Then a uh, Dark Rebellion Exist Dragon, of course, uh, King of the Fair Olympus to search out Kaya Kaga, uh, Abyss Dweller, and finally a uh, Carl Cowboy. So that was the exact. Uh, so uh, that was my rank up Heatic Beast uh, deck profile. Uh, for uh, Yuval Masteries uh, channel. So um, I think you already, already know my channel, but you have, if you haven't checked out my channel yet, I do a lot of uh, um, tech profiles of different unique techs, whether online or real life. And also of course different uh, dual videos as well on Dev Pro or Yu-Gi-Oh Pro and all that. Uh, and also some uh, card or rushed up discussions. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tech profile uh, for now. Uh, goodbye and Omar Chaos, out.